I'm Erin Pelkey and today is exam day. Woo! So I brought in some caramel popcorn for my students so they can have a special treat during the exam. Um, I'm going to be doing some pre-exam interviews to test my students' confidence levels for the exam to see if it coincides with them finishing or not finishing their DIRs. So hi, I prepared for this interview with these index cards. Um, I'm Allie, I'm a sophomore I'm from Iowa, and I am ready for this exam today. I got the old thinking cap on. Fun fact though, it's been on for quite a few days for studying, so I need to wash my hair after this exam. It's good, bro. How you doing? What's up, Alki? How you doing, bro? What's good? All right, my name's Josh. I'm a senior. Um, let's see. Uh, fun fact, I can bench 315 in my sleep. Uh, deadlift's like 600, and I'm gonna crush this exam. Today. Um, so I am Sally. I am a senior here um, at the college. Yes, sorry, I'm just applying for jobs to see here. No, okay. I'll be taking this auto exam. Um, real quick though. Real quick. Real quick. Oh, look at that. I gotta go. Okay. Okay. I'm coming for my interview. Um, I just have a couple notes, but it might be taking a minute to find them. Um, so, so yeah. Uh, sorry. One second. So, okay. Okay. I have a lot of notes. And I'm just like, my name is, okay, I'm sorry, let me start again. Okay, hi, um, my name is Riley, and um, I, I'm from New Jersey, and I've just been studying a lot, and I feel like pretty prepared for this exam, but I don't really know, I'm getting pretty nervous, so I'm just gonna go right now, okay? Okay, I'm gonna put it all away. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it. I'll see you later. The exam seems to going, be going well. We're about to go check it on Josh and see how he's doing. Everyone's getting to the synthesis problem, so we'll see how it goes. Bro, this exam's been so easy, bro. Uh, oh, I didn't see this uh, synthesis with one to two carbon atoms and up to one hetero atom. But come back to me, bro. Come back. Come back. Josh, take two. I got it now. I'm gonna make it out of here in no time. Time for my workout, no problem. Come come check it out, come check it out. Okay, so we're synthesizing this five carbon molecule with a ketone on the fourth carbon, but it could also be on the second carbon, bro. It would be the same. And then, so first I was like, bro, I don't even know where to start. But then I was like, what if I start from the end? Retrosynthesis, bro. Okay, so. The easiest way to get this ketone group would be with a terminal alkyne. So I figured I'd, I would go back retrosynthetically and start with this molecule. And then from there, you could add HGSO4, H2SO4, and H2O to get a Markovnikov addition of the ketone, bro. And then from there, I was like, that's five carbons. I can only use two carbons. So since there's a triple bond, you can start with that triple bond right here. You can deprotonate it right here. And then you can attack this electrophile right here. Oh, wait, that is, that is three carbons. Well, I'll have to synthesize this too, but it won't be any problem, bro. That's good. Pucky here. Time to go check in on the students and see how Riley's doing. Okay, well, now that I've figured out through retrosynthesis how to make my product, I need to figure out how to make my one propanol, bro, uh, my, my one bromopropanol. Okay, so I know that I should start with an oxyrane. Well, you know, there might be a couple different ways to do it, but I think that I would like to start with an oxyrane and then I'll break it up using an MEMGBRTHF. which will help to add a carbon-carbon bond, but because it'll create a negative O8, a negative O, I'll add, I'll change it to an alcohol through an H3O plus workup. And then okay. after the so work- So now that I've created my one uh, propanol alcohol, I 
have to figure out how to get it to a BR. So a PBR3 is a great way to change the alcohol to a bromine. Starting to finally feel hopeful. Maybe like I'll make it through this exam. All right, let's see how Allie's doing. Come on, thinking cap, work. Okay, I've already done this first part of the synthesis. So all I need to do is make my, my bromine piece. So I'm gonna start with this triple bond and then I bet you I can deprotonate it using Na, NH2, and DMF. And then I need to add one carbon. So I'm gonna do MEI. And that'll get me this with one, two, three carbons with this methyl on the end. Then if I treat this with H2 Linlar, you can bet your britches that's gonna make a double bond right here. Here you go, thinking cap. And then I can just turn this double bond into a BR on the end using HBr and peroxide to add an anti-Markovnikov BR, and there you go. I have the bromide piece I need. All right, time to check on Sully. Okay, so I have my two carbon here, alkene, and I know I need to start by adding a methyl to this. So I can use NH, NH2, with methyl iodine to add my methyl right here. Now I have a three carbon molecule. Now, in order to make this alkyne into an alkene, I need to use H2 Linlar. And now we have a three carbon alkyne, alkene. Um, this is a very important step because now I can convert this double bond into an alcohol by using BH3THF and then adding H2O2 and NaOH. Now I have my, my alcohol on my less substituted um, carbon. So just like that. Now I can do PBR3 and get my product. All right, so it's time to check the exams. We have the answer key here, all of my students' exams. Let's see how they did. So let's see, first up is Josh. Let's see, he deprotonates. He adds the one bromopropane, okay, all right. Then adds the Markovnikov ketone, all right, with the terminal alkyne. Oh, whoa, well, what, what's going on here? He doesn't, he didn't finish it. Mm, it's a shame. Well, I guess he must have gone to do his workout. Okay, all right, well, understandable. Yep, okay, makes sense. Next up, let's see, we have Riley. Okay, let's see what she did. She adds the oxyrane, add one carbon. Okay, okay, let's go, let's see. Changes the OH to the BR. Okay, all right, I like it. Ah, oh, PBR3, peanut butter. I like it, okay. All right, good job. Allie, okay, let's see what she did. Deprotonates, okay, all right. She has a methyl, good, good, good. H2 Linlar, okay, she changes it from an alkyne to an alkene. I like it, good. HBR, adds the anti Markovnikov with the BR, good. Awesome, I really like it. That's a funny joke I should tell my students. The alkyne, dear neighbor, I like it. All right, let's see who we have left. Sully, okay, let's see how she did. I'm really proud of my students. Deprotonates, okay, she adds a methyl too. Then uh, she did the same thing, changes it from an alkene, alkyne to an alkene. As the anti-Markovnikov OH, okay, changes the OH to the BR. Wow, so let's see. All right, A plus. Great. I'm so proud of my students. Fantastic. Wait till I give these exams back. They're going to be so proud. Josh, you had to do that workout, didn't you? All right, Um, right, let's go with a B plus, question mark. 